Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Rimelda, and today I will be preparing for you Bahamian stew conch. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I have two spoonfuls of oil in this pot in this pan, and to that I'm adding a cup of flour. Now I'm going to allow this to just do its thing until it turns brown. Now you don't want it to burn because if it burns, you're going to have yourself some bitter stew. We don't want that. So you're going to have to really watch this. Now this is the old fashioned way. Some people would brown their flour, just toast it, put it in the pot, turn the stove down and just keep stirring it until it turns brown. But I'm doing it the way my mommy did it, my grammy did it, so watch me please. The flour is just cooking in that oil. Now that same oil I'm going to use, use this to fry down my herbs, so I'm not going to add any more oil. This is going to do the cooking for me. Just keep working the flour, working it. Just work it. Stove is on medium, of course. You have to really pay attention. The flour has sucked up all of the oil, but it's still there. You have to be very careful with this. This is extremely hot. This will give you a first degree burn. So be very careful. Conk. The conch was tenderized with this tenderizer, so they are mashed and smashed to pieces. They are ready, already washed and bruised. Okay, it's changing. Patience is the key to hair. Patience is the key to making stew conk. This is going to be for lunch. I didn't get up in time to make it for breakfast, so... My Johnny cake is already in the oven. Now I'm working on the conch. So here I am just adding a little bit of lime juice to the conch, just to give it a little season. And of course, to help with the tender icing of it. That's going to work it out too. Nice and soft. The trick is, whenever you are cooking conch, you just give it a little scalding for about a minute or so. Don't let it boil. Just a little scald first. You're going to see me do it before you put it in the pot. What's the color? It's changing. This is Bahamian stew conch. This is the old fashioned way. Just let your flour Fry it out, just like this, in a little bit of oil. It will change. You don't need any browning here. No browning is needed. So this is going to work out. Just a couple of more minutes. It's getting there, it's correct. Just is giving you a close up. Right. So all of the oil that's in this is going to fry my herbs. Now here I'm going to give my conch a little scald for a few minutes before adding it to this pot with the flour. So I'm not going to allow it to bubble and boil, no. Just let the hot water 
work with scarlet. And that would be sufficient. These are fresh kong, by the way. But if you're using kong that, that you had in your freezer, just do the same thing. Give it a little scalding, and then you put it in the pot. But be sure to tenderize them, bruise them. Don't cut it up and put it in there because they're going to take extremely long to cook. Conk is a muscle, so you need to cut it up and just make it as thin as you can. Beat it. Now it's time I can add the herbs. The flour has already brown almost to what I want it to, the color that I want. I'm just adding the onions, celery, bell pepper. You can also add um, potatoes, white potatoes as well. The Irish potatoes, but we've had enough potatoes for the week, so I'm just going to add a few carrots. See, it's going to fry down in that flour, and that flour is extremely hot. Oil is in it. It's there, trust me. Okay, that's gonna work out. Now I'm adding the thyme. That's about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of thyme. Stems and all. Just pulling off the leaves. I'm just gonna drop the stems in as well. All of that is gonna enhance the flavor. That's my secret right there. A spoonful of ginger, cut up ginger. I tried this before and man, this had my my pot lit. Try it. If you don't like the ginger, you don't have to put the ginger. But I tried it before and it worked. So it's up to you. Mix well. Ginger had my pot lit. So that was my secret. Mommy didn't use ginger in hers, but I'm doing it today. We're having ginger in our stew conk here at the Thompsons today. Oh yes. That is still cooking. See how it's melting off the side of the pot? This is hot. I'm going to add some garlic powder. About a tablespoon of garlic powder. I love garlic. I find that this is more potent than the garlic. I don't feel like cutting up any garlic today, so I'm just adding the powder. This is going to be a pot of goodness. My eldest daughter is coming over with her kids and her husband, and it's my husband and Rafaela, so we're going to be having this today for lunch. Stewed conch with Johnny Cake. Everyone is so excited. The conk. Oh boy, I was blessed with these conk yesterday. Praise the Lord. Woohoo! God is good. Now I said, don't allow the conk to boil, so they are coming along in this hot water. Now I'm going to add just a tablespoon of tomato paste. Because other than that, it's just going to be the flour. And I just want to add a little more substance to my broth. So I add a little bit of tomato paste. Now you can add the tomato paste if you wish. If you don't want it, just leave it out and just use the flour. But mommy did a little tomato paste in her, in her stew and now I'm doing it. I've even seen people add it ripe tomato. Now I've never tried that. I can do a little bit of tomato paste. Notice the, the conch is not bubbling. 
The water's hot. I'll shut it off. The water is hot. See the steam coming from the pot? This is hot. Now I'm just adding it in. It's only lime juice and water. That's why the water is nice and milky. Okay. Pump was thoroughly clean. That's why I can use the liquid from the comb. They were really clean. My husband really did a number on those. So this is the Hanyan stew conk. This is a pot full of goodness. Now that conk was boiling in. That was about two and a half cups of water. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to this. Just so we can have more broth. Because that's what you need to soak up the soak up with the Johnny cake. The Johnny cake can soak up the broth. So you can, I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. Okay, I change sides so I can stir it better. Okay. This is a Bahamian thing. Now this can be served for breakfast, lunch, or supper, dinner. There's the one I was talking about. That's the cupful. Now I'm adding some carrots. Like I said, you can add other veggies, Irish potatoes, whatever you want in it, edos, cassava, whatever you want in it. But you've had enough of those. I, I made soup yesterday. Oh, I, I, I don't want any more potatoes. Not today. Here is the red pepper flakes. Just jassing it up a bit. I don't use black pepper, so if you want to use black pepper, feel free to do so. Just jassing it up a bit with some red pepper flakes. Oh my word. Giving that good mix. Garlic salt, needs more flavor. Now, whenever you're cooking seafood, you have to watch the amount of salt that you add. Because this creature lives in the sea, so it's in salt water. So just be mindful of the amount of salt that you're adding in. Less is always best. Less is always best. That's the signal. That's it. That's enough. And then once it boils down, you're going to really taste the flavor then. So don't add too much salt. Cover that down and let it do its thing. All right. All of that bubbles from the line as well as the conk. This is working out. Now after about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, you can test a piece of the conk to see if it's, it's finished, if it's ready. But you will know, trust me. Johnny cake is ready. It's ready. All right, it's ready for the broth. It's ready for the stew. Okay. This is it. Shutting that off. Now, if you want your the broth to be thick, you just add more flour whenever you are frying it down at the beginning. I only used one cup because I don't like it thick. I love it a little loose. There you have it. That's it. This is Bahamian stewed conch with Johnny Cake. Try some today. Your family will love it. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Share it out. Leave a comment. Share this video out. God bless you and I will see you in the next one. Watch the ads now.